Island Style Grub, located right here in Panama City Beach. And today we have some fresh red snapper from the Gulf. We're gonna do some fish tacos, so I hope you all enjoy it. As you see, I got fresh red snapper here, straight from the Gulf. We're so fortunate here in Panama City Beach. We got a, uh, in our backyard. We're seasoning them up here with our seasoning that we make here, here in house. We actually call it Finn's Crack. Now we're gonna let the snapper sear on this flat grill. It really holds the juices in. We'll let it cook halfway through, then we'll flip it over. We use corn tortillas for our fish tacos. You can really taste all the flavors and ingredients inside the taco with the corn tortilla. It has a real nice light texture. All right, I'm gonna flip over the tortillas real quick. They got a nice toasty color to them. You don't wanna let them go too long because they'll get kind of rubbery. Fish is ready to flip also. As you can see, Got an awesome seared. All right, it's time to dress the tacos. And it's gonna be time to eat the tacos. Here they are, Ben's original fish tacos. Even though Elise spends most of her time underwater and gets plenty of exercise, Justin invited her along for a workout under the disguise of fishing for bull redfish. The setup we have here is the inlet that connects St. Andrews Bay to the Gulf of Mexico. And in the summertime, the tide falls all day. So we start off with the high tide in the morning. The water's gonna push out as the day goes on. And as it pushes out, it flushes all kinds of bait, shrimp, crabs, bait fish uh, out this pass here. And what we're gonna do is when these fish come up and start feeding on them, we're gonna throw lures like a topwater plug. We throw flies and uh, set it right in front of these fish and, and have them come up and eat. Now, most of these fish that we catch out here are gonna be well over the slot limit. The slot is 18 to 27 inches. And I would say the smallest fish we'll see today will probably be in the 30 inch range. So. These will all be fish we're going to try to take real good care of so that we can release healthy. Super strong. All right, Elise, I know you spend a lot of time <laughs> under the water, but not too bad on the top okay. either, is it? Nice. There we go. Catching a redfish. But she's not too tired to pull in the biggest bull of the day before her shoulders get out. Uh, Holy uh, moly! Just be really easy with them. Don't want to rush them. Uh, <laughs> I can't even think they're real. Definitely got my workout on him. Oh, <laughs> Yay! Oh. Panama City Beach also hosts many events that introduce newcomers to these waters. We have a beautiful day here in Panama City Beach for our Project Healing Waters event. And what it is, they take wounded soldiers and it's a fly fishing organization that creates opportunities for them to fish in new areas, teach them about fly fishing, and we were honored to be able to host them here today. As we get out there, the fish are going everywhere but you know we're stopped by a blue heron that lands on the boat it's pretty amazing well, we're trying to catch our baits with these herons and egrets will land on the boat and they hope in the process of us getting our baits from our cast net into the live well there's always a few that slip out from under us and they know us they know all the guide boats here in Pamela city beach look at him he's hungry and uh they'll usually sneak a few out while we're trying to get them into our live well that's okay we don't mind when we go out there to the reefs looking for these amber jacks, the type of bait we use really is not very important. What is important is the quantity. Uh, because we're gonna just throw them in the water, we're not putting them on the hook. Uh, it doesn't matter to us what it is, what it looks like, and I promise you, they don't really care. If there's a bunch of live, fast swimming baits, there they come. they're gonna come after them. It's a good thing that fishing's not like bad for your health. 
because you get really addicted down here. There we go. All right, be honest, is that your biggest fish on the fly? This is the biggest fish on the fly. That's a good, it's good, awesome. That's a beautiful amberjack. They're very aggressive, you know, they're actually good eating too. Um, kind of hard to go wrong. Great fly target. They love to come up to the surface and crash those flies.